Today we're gonna be looking at a handful of sneakers that I think are great for styling year round. And to make things even better, I'm actually gonna show you guys 11 different sneakers that are all under 100 bucks. First up, we have the Adidas Continental 80. I think this shoe can be dressed up, dressed down, worn with shorts, worn with pants, and honestly worn any time around the year. And normally the sneaker retails at around $100, but sometimes you can find it on sale, even at prices low as $50 and $60. Now, as we know, when it comes to sneaker heads in the shoe game, there is gonna be a high demand when it comes to a lot of sneakers these days. So some of these sneakers on this list may be a little bit harder to get than others, but for the most part, you should be able to get your hands on all of these for the retail price point, or even able to find them for a discounted price. Next up, we have a classic right here, and that is the Vans Skate High and the Skate Low. Retail on the high top is gonna be somewhere around 80 bucks, and retail on the low top is gonna be somewhere around 70 bucks. Now these, we know, are very universal sneakers. Again, when it comes to dressing up, dressing down, wearing them year round, all those same things. And honestly, all these sneakers on this list are meant for those reasons. That's why I wanted to put this list together for you. But basically, I think the Vans are another great sneaker. If you get the all white version, you can easily throw them in the wash, clean them up, bring them back to life, and be able to rock them again. Some people even kind of like when it has that kind of little dirty vintage kind of look to it as well. That's always some type of aesthetic depending on the outfit. Obviously, if you have a cleaner outfit on, you don't want to look like you have some completely dirty shoes, so you do want to clean up your shoes at the same time. But when it comes to these all white sneakers, I think these are definitely a must have on the list and an easily affordable sneaker that you should be able to get at your local malls or online from the Vans website for again, somewhere around 70 to 80 bucks depending on the shoe. And you might be able to actually find these on sale even at other discount places like Ross or Marshalls. Next up, we have another Adidas sneaker right here. And this one is an all time classic. Whenever I think of all white sneakers, this is definitely a shoe that comes to my mind. And that is the Adidas Stan Smith. These right here also come in a bunch of different colors and variations. But typically when you think of the all white Stan Smiths, you think of the pair with the green on the back and then they have other versions with a little bit of color on the back end. Or you can find an all white version as well well with no color at all on the sneaker but I know a lot of people are happy with the green or that navy kind of look or the black on the back end when it comes to this shoe in particular these are a leather material on the standard white pair so this is a lot easier to clean as well they do have different versions with suede and stuff like that but for the most part when it comes to an all-white Stan Smith you can never go wrong with these they're never gonna go out of style they're always gonna be a classic they're always gonna be a banger and you're always gonna be a happy camper also when it comes to this sneaker the retail is gonna be just under a hundred dollars so around 95 to 100 bucks depending on taxes and shipping or where city you're located and stuff like that but at the end of the day again another hundred dollar sneaker that is very affordable and very universal for a lot of different things oh yeah and by the way if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the DNA show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys tips and tricks and hacks like this on ways to budget and be able to get affordable sneakers for your lifestyle and what you like to rock. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. Now let's take it to sneaker number four. And that is the New Republic Kurt. Now these right here, again, another all white sneaker that is very simple, very clean, has a leather on the upper, similar to the Stan Smith, but a different brand and slightly different when it comes to the shape but essentially you're gonna see a very similar vibe when it comes to this shoe and these are gonna be very affordable anywhere from that 60 to $80 depending on where you're purchasing them at and what there's a sale or anything like that but either way another very affordable sneaker I personally don't have them but I do see a lot of people rocking them and I know that they look good on feet and I do appreciate that sneaker as well that's why I put it on this list now let's take it to sneaker number five and that is the all-white Nike Air Force one low now when it comes to this shoe right here we all know I don't think I need to say much but but this is a very classic, very iconic staple sneaker that will never lose its energy and will always be considered as one of the best all white sneakers to ever be made. And I don't know if that's a biased statement because obviously I love Nikes, but I do love all brands. And at the end of the day, I personally feel the Air Force One is one of the greatest out there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now the retail price on these, which is crazy, used to be like 80 bucks, low key probably like 70 bucks back in the day. And they've been just slowly, slowly creeping up over the years. We'll see a five dollar price then a ten dollar price hike another five dollar price hike ten dollars next thing you know the shoe is now around a hundred dollars which is okay because i still think at the grand scheme of things all white air force one goes with a lot of things very affordable shoe so if you want to add these to your collection 
might be a little bit harder because there is a high demand but at the end of the day you shouldn't have too much trouble they've been restocking them a lot so good luck to you if you need a pair i know typically in the winter time they do sell out a little bit more often when it comes to the numbers and gifts and things like that so whenever you have chances to stock up on one two three extra pairs trust me it's worth it because then you don't have to worry about going through the struggle or even potentially paying resale for a sneaker like this even though it's a hundred dollar price point on the retail shoe next up we have the reebok club c85 again another iconic sneaker similar to the adidas that we saw at the beginning of the video but they do have their own twist and their own style to them as well very simple a little bit when it comes to the materials and the different switches up with the patches and everything not super minimal like a stan smith or anything like that but at the end of the day again very clean shoe i love these they look great on people's feet they look good uh clean and dirty i think this shoe looks really good i know some people are saying well, well the shoe looks good dirty trust me there's some sneakers out there that they just kind of look better when it's got that vintage kind of look to it some people might be able to test that down below in the comment section let me know how you guys feel about that when you got that more vintage worn vibe on your white sneakers also i'll make sure i have a full list for you guys down below in the description giving you guys all the information you need for all the shoes that we went over and links to be able to go and purchase the shoes if you ever want to next up right here again another iconic shoe and the puma clyde i'm telling you right now you can never go wrong with these they're gonna be on that similar vibe as the stan smiths or something like that you are gonna find versions that do have a little bit of color on the upper so if you're looking for a complete white version that is gonna be out there but typically you see the classic white with the black stripe or the different color stripes on the sides like kind of like what we talked about with stan smiths you got the white with the green on the back or something like that so always something to consider definitely a very classic iconic model they do really well when it comes to the switching up with the materials and the collaborations and stuff like that so not only just good for a white sneaker but overall just dope sneakers for your collection you're gonna like these and again these are the type of sneakers that you can get for a very affordable price and actually be able to find some of these pairs at places like marshall's ross tj maxx stuff like that as well next up on the list we have the nike kill shot 2 and honestly i have not really been a huge fan of rock in this sneaker but i know i do see this a lot on people's feet so i figured it was only right that i put these out there to the world to let you guys know about them if you didn't know about them when it comes to an affordable sneaker under 100 bucks let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section i don't have any personal problems with the shoe at all i just for some reason it's just never fully gravitated to me and i think that's completely fine as well i know everybody doesn't like every single thing and you don't have to buy everything off of this list or own all the stuff or whatever it's all up to you right i'm just trying to help you guys figure out the shoes that you may want to consider to adding to your rotation in the future next up right here just at a hundred dollars as well we have the nike blazer high and the nike blazer low now i again same thing I'm not that big of a fan of blazers. I'm a size 13, so maybe that's the reason. With the white sneaker, the blazer looks pretty huge. In my opinion, it just doesn't look that well on my feet. And I know some people like lacing them up tight, and that's definitely like one of the top TikTok sneakers. We see a lot of TikTokers rocking dirty, crusty blazers on their profiles. Again, that's up to them what they wanna do. If that's a part of styling, and some people like them with that more vintage, old school look. But I feel like sometimes you gotta, you know, there's a difference between, you know, vintage and old school look and then like dirty and crusty like all right bro like you making money off of social media you should you know maybe consider buying another pair but again that's a whole nother topic either way the nike blazer high and low are definitely very good sneakers classic iconic models that have been around for over 30 years and it completely makes sense why people will want to rock these and honestly they do look good on some people so i cannot be mad at that at all when i see sneakers i can still appreciate them don't get me wrong i may not have to purchase them but i can still appreciate a shoe so yes i like the blazer let's take it to the next one and that is the converse chuck taylor low and the high top now i know some people are only fans of the lows and some people are only fans of the highs similar to the blazers i know a lot of people do like the high version but i feel like there's definitely a heavy mix when it comes to these two on the converse chuck taylors as well these are going to be very very affordable you're going to be able to get pairs sometimes you can find again ross marshall's tj maxx different places like that you might be able to find a pair for 15 or 20 bucks and get a really good deal on a pair so good luck to you if you are able to but if not it's still fine because typically you're going to pay you know anywhere from like 50 to 70 bucks depending on where you're going and if you get a special version or not but besides that for an all white sneaker again classic iconic all that stuff some people say they're comfortable i have pairs i kind of rock them sometimes i wouldn't say they're that comfortable i don't know that's another opinion based thing let me know what you think down below if you have a pair of converse in your collection or you rock them in your rotation how comfortable are they out of 10 for me 
if I were to say anything, I feel everything when I walk on the ground. So I would say they're probably a solid four out of 10 when it comes to how comfortable they are. But when it comes to styling and the look, I love them, they look great. So those were 10 different sneakers right there and I promised you guys I would give you 11. So this last one right here, another classic iconic banger. Looks kind of weird on my foot, but I do own a pair and that is the Nike Cortez. I think right here when it comes to all white sneakers, again, you cannot go wrong with these. Depending on your foot size and your style and your aesthetic and everything, this shoe could look really fire with an outfit. You could wear them any time of the year. You could dress them up, dress them down. It looks super dope, super fly. So I feel like that's just a shoe that had to be on the list and uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for other affordable white sneakers under 100 bucks that are not on this list please drop comments down below so we can help each other out and if you want to see anything in the future and you have questions or any other top 10 or top 5 videos or anything like that make sure you guys let me know down below in the comment section I appreciate you guys as always peace <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what city are you from.